We're in beautiful Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, this is Private Ear Studios, and we're recording Cancer Rat 7. Yeah, at the end of 2019, I ended up moving out to Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I felt like that had a huge influence on writing this album. So tons of the songs on this record are written like in the woods or like next to the ocean or like while I was out dirt biking. Like they're all kind of like influenced from that. I've got a drum idea that I came up with or a riff idea that I just made a video of while I was driving in the woods to like go dirt biking. I was like, we should have a song that sounds like and then I'd send that video to Jay and it would be like that literally would start an idea going. I think lyrically I never have a grand idea <laughs> when I like start writing. I literally have like a blank like moleskin like notebook that I just start filling up uh, like song by song and then it's more I realize like I can step back and like see an overarching like theme kind of like rethinking like you know where I'm at what I value like things in my life that I want to like you know focus on that I really feel like are important and then other parts that I realize maybe I was like caught up in more of like a hustle and grind, like, you know what I mean? And you step back and you're like, but what was the point of any of that? There's like a lot of those moments I feel like on this record that I also was kind of like having in my own life. And being out East like definitely gave me like time and space to be able to think of that. I felt like there was a lot of moments where we were kind of like going back to like what got us into hardcore. So it's like everything that we love about Cancer Bats and then also like everything that like made us want to like, you know, be in bands and like the soundtrack you put on when you're going to skateboard or like what you want to listen to when you like fire up your motorcycle. Like those were some of the conversations that me and Jay were definitely having with Mikey too. Like, you know, he's like at a job site. It's like, yeah, what are guys blasting in their truck at the job site? Like what's getting everyone super pumped? It's like, okay, we need to like add that energy into like new cancer rats. Shout out to Brooklyn Doran, our friend who sings on Hammering On. Um, basically, I've wanted like a really cool like female vocal like on a song and never really found, like definitely tried to do some stuff on Dead Son of Living. Uh, we have a bit of it on Spark, which is really cool, but I felt like, again, like where to fit it in. And then when we started writing Hammering On, I was like, oh, I think this is like an actual like cool stoner song that we can get like a friend to sing on and have it be like more of like a duet and less of just like a little like, you know, featuring part or like someone singing just the back half. I was like, let's get like Brooklyn to sing the entire song, you know? And that I'm so stoked with how it turned out. <laughs> 